Okay, let's um, see this question under ratio. So it says the ratio of the price of a tin of milk to that of a packet of sugar is m to p. If the ratio of milk now goes up by 25%, while that of sugar goes up by 15%, the new ratio of the price is a 25m to 23p, then b 23m to 25p, and c 5p to 3m, and d 3p to 5m. So how do we solve this? They give us the ratio of the milk and the packet of sugar in algebraic expression. As a variable so we're going to have it this way so write our m to p and given this ratio we should at least have the value the exact price of the milk and the packet of sugar but given that they didn't give us we can find our values ourselves but in this case we're going to have the values in algebraic form so, of course, you know, if you have your ratio, you are you can multiply both ratios by a, uh, a similar value. Let's say, since we don't know the value, I want to find an algebraic value for the price of milk and, uh, and an algebraic value for the price of the packet of sugar. So, I'm going to multiply M by, let's say I'm multiplying M by Y. And that means I'll multiply P also by Y so that I can get my value. So M times Y is MY and uh, P times Y is PY. So at this initial stage, we'll assume that the price of milk is MY based on this ratio M and P. And the price of the packet of sugar is PY. So that's what we're going to assume now. So the price of uh, milk, MY, price of the sugar, packet of sugar is PY. So, but they, they said the price of the milk now went up by 25%. So, percentage increase. So, increase something by a particular percentage. But remember that if you are to increase something by a particular percentage, there's a way you do it. Let's assume they say increase um, 40 naira by 25%. You know, we're going to just do 25 over 100 times 40 over 1 then 0 cancels 0 then you have 25 times 4 that's 100, 100 um, 10 times 1 that's 10 so 0 cancels 0 you get 10 if you find 25% of 40 but they said it should increase 40 by 25% that means in the end after getting 10 I'll add up my 10 to the 40 so that will be 40 naira plus 10 naira that's this 10 I got, I'll get 15 naira. That means I have actually increased this 40 by 25%. So after getting my 10, I added it. So that's what I'm going to do here. So for the milk, I'll increase this milk by 25%. I'll do exactly the same thing I did here. So I'm going to say uh, 25% of the MY will now be 25 over 100 times my over 1 then I'll start um, reducing the fractions 25 here is 1, 25 and 100 is 4 and nothing can really cut out so I'll just have 1 times my is my over 4 times 1 is 4 so this is the value I got but it said increase my so I'll still add this to the original value of the my just like how I got 10 and I added it to the original value, which was 40. So now that I've gotten my over 4, I also add it to the original value, which is my. So that will be my plus this my over 4. So I can put this my over 1. Then um, the next thing is to find the LCM. So the LCM is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times my is my. 4 divided by 1 is 4, then that 4 times my is 4my, put your plus sign. So you add up 4my plus my gives you 5my, then place your 4. So that's 5my over 4 is the increased value of the price of milk. So I'm going to keep that down. They also said that the price of the packet of sugar was increased by 
fifteen percent. The same thing. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to do fifteen percent of the um, packet of sugar. That will be py. Of course, you know your off means you're going to multiply. So that will be fifteen over hundred times the py over one. What can I reduce here? I can use five. Five here is three, and five in hundred is twenty. So I end up having three times py. That will be three py over twenty one and twenty times one gives me still twenty. So this is the value I get for 15% of this. But they said I should increase it. So I'll end up still adding this to this again. So that'll be PY plus 3 PY over 20. Then I'll find the LCM. Just like how you add your fractions. The LCM here is 20. 20 divides 20 is 1. 1 times 3 PY still gives me 3 PY. 20 divides 1 is 20. Then that 20 times PY is 20 PY. Then you see add, put your plus sign, then you add up 20 PY plus 3 PY. Algebraically, it's possible. You're going to get 23 PY over 20. So this is my new value for packet of sugar. So this is my new value for milk and my value for packet of sugar. So now that I've gotten the new values, what they say I should find? They asked me to find the new ratio of the price. So, and it's also M to P. So, the new ratio of the price will now be, I'll still do M to P, but the new ratio for M is 5 M Y over 4. And the one for P, what did we get? We got 23 P Y over 20. 23 py over 20 and of course if i want to really break this one and i'll simplify and express as a ratio i will do 5 my over 4 over 23 py over 20 that means i'm going to divide so that'll be 5 my over 4 divided by 23 py over 20 of course you're going to cross you're going to um change this to multiplication and then you invert these ones so that'll be five m y over four times twenty over twenty three p y the y cancels y four year one four year five so five m times five gives you twenty five m over twenty three p making the ratio twenty five m to twenty three p so that means the correct option is option A, which is 25M to 23P. So very simple.